What's up, what's up, y'all? Good morning. It's gonna be a short one to this uh, receiver. Let's close that window. We got this rattle going on here. We got something shaking in the back. It's a fry shaker money maker after all, right? Something's got a shake in here. We are going to delivery. Today is Friday. I came home yesterday from uh, Fort Wayne. And uh, I'm going to my delivery. And then, uh, then I have a pickup. In... Uh, somewhere in this area also and I'm heading to essentially Tulsa Oklahoma just uh, a little bit past it for a Monday delivery so I'm gonna load this up today stay home for the weekend and then leave Sunday Sunday evening or whenever I looked up this address it looked like sketchy <laughs> just like a random house so I hope that there's a uh, there's a business there that I can deliver to so we'll see someday I'm gonna straight pipe this thing believe me you know it sucks that the steering wheel looks crooked when it's straight it's like sits like this a little bit it drives me nuts but i think i stripped the bolt on the the the, the steering link whatever you call it so i'm afraid to take it off and try to fix it so i don't think i'm gonna touch it because if i touch it and i cannot put that knot back on there goes about $1,600. Let's switch over. It's a lot of freaking holes on the floor. SWR, family owned since 1945, Wreckers. They have a big yard. I know I got my estimate somewhere here when the truck was hit. as it's somewhere up there maybe that big lot is what's getting built it is connector castings is where we're heading to or maybe even rebuilt in this area which would be North St. Louis I guess Preservation Square yeah that looks like old bricks so they're rebuilding them just tore the whole thing down and man that's a lot of that's a lot of rebuilding there, like rebuilding the whole neighborhood. Maybe even building, I don't know. But that brick looks old to me, so I would think rebuilding. We're going to be making a right somewhere up here. more comfortable to sit lower down but when I have to make right turns I like to sit higher up so I can see things a lot more yeah this stuff is heavy what I'm hauling it's about 44,000 it's definitely got some weight to it. But yeah, 
let's find this uh, facility and then we'll catch you once we're docked hopefully all right y'all uh <clears throat> let me let me tell you this if you are not out of st louis and you are not familiar with areas of st louis north st louis and east st louis receivers such as this is not where you want to spend your night you do not want to spend your night here this is where i am uh delivering to <clears throat> Let's back up a little bit, swing it. The receiver is right here on the left, but literally the whole thing is boarded up in bars. You know you're in a bad area when window air conditioners have uh, bars around them so they don't get stolen. And they're like way high up. So you know these are like, it's bad. When you got to board up an AC conditioner that is like, 15 feet off the ground so it doesn't get stolen yeah that's pretty rough i'm gonna record just to show you guys the kind of area we're in i have to go get uh bolt cutters from this guy so i can open the doors because i don't have anything well i have a grinder that could cut it but i mean look at those ac conditioners they're like closed in and you'll see these docks even these freaking docks have bars on them everything has bars on them i'm telling you north st louis is not a very friendly spot yeah those freaking trees are hitting my truck but i do need to swing it over here yeah look at these docks even the docks have have uh bars on them yeah, this, this is a rough, rough area. <clears throat> I'm sure the real estate is cheap. But at the end of the day, like, if you keep getting broken into, like, is it really worth it? Melanfi, I guess is how you say it. I think this is Melanfi Street. But yeah, uh, East St. Louis and North St. Louis definitely got some rough, rough spots. And then... <clears throat> There's some nice houses and stuff, but they just like, okay, is it worth the living there? He told me the middle dock. open those doors up and then we'll catch you when we are parked so while I wait here to get unloaded I feel like they'll be pretty quick I hope they are but in case they're not we might as well show you guys what we got uh, yeah I'm gonna begin the haircut today this thing grows out super fast take my shoes off it looks like a mess back here but it's actually pretty solid all this stuff these are just the drawers that are going to be built above the fridge. And then uh, this is my headset. I bought these things. Coveralls. I'm not exactly sure what these things cost. Like in stores and whatnot. I looked them up online. And I got these on eBay. They were like $140 I think for two. Here I'll tell you the exact price. People are gonna start like, oh, that's a bad price. To, like, uh, let's see. Yeah, $142, give or take. Uh, so, they're pretty nice. The reason I got them is because I'm gonna be putting my legacy seat on the passenger seat, and then both of them are gonna get these coveralls. These coveralls, the funny thing is, these coveralls actually look like this Bostrom seat that I'm sitting on, which is, uh, black and gray and the material on them seems pretty legit uh, let's see put all this away back here 
the material on them seems very very rugged it's got like pockets on the sides and whatnot let's see if we can put this thing on real quick kind of hot But yeah, if if, uh, if you're not from St. Louis and you're delivering to St. Louis and it's either North St. Louis or East St. Louis and uh, it's one of the receivers like this, not one of the big ones, don't spend the night here. Go to a truck stop. Also, the truck stop down on Grand is not a good one either. People uh, will come knocking on your door and wake you up. Yes, that's how he would go. I think since I have armrests, I'm gonna have to untangle these. Until they touch the touch the bottom, I guess. Yeah. Or you can just slide them through this. Yeah, let me try to sort this out, and then we'll give you an update once I put it on. All right, y'all. So it's kind of a pain to put this thing on. These are pretty self-explanatory. Skip one of them around the armrest and then just tie in rest of them and then, I don't know, cut this off or tuck it in somewhere. It's kind of annoying. Uh, but anyways, yeah, as far as that goes. The thing is, they have, let's see if I can show you. They have straps in here that are supposed to go under the seat. All right, hit my head against too. It's supposed to go under the seat, and then they tie into the back here, and they're supposed to swing underneath the seat and tie into front. Well, that didn't exactly work for me. I didn't like that, because especially this being a low base seat, I couldn't get my hand through there. So I just did it how I did. But yeah, I mean, this is what the seat looks like. It's very, very rugged material. Obviously here, there's up until you sit. Uh, but, I mean, it seems like really solid quality. Oh no, I mean, it seems it doesn't make any difference as far as comfort to the seat. But I would say it's gonna offer a lot of protection to the seat. Oh yeah, I, step, I fixed my step. In case you missed the last video, I fixed my step and uh, there it is. Everything operates as normal. I'm gonna have to protect these airlines with something. And then, uh, yeah, I did a few things to the truck. Took the tire from back here. Uh, I didn't do anything to this box. I turned around the tire thing. So I turned around the uh, tire mount because it was in backwards and we couldn't even take the tire off. And then at the same time, I put a step right here. Even though it looks small, I prefer the low profile, honestly. It still works. You can step right here and right up here to climb up on the catwalk. And then here I'm gonna be getting my uh, mini split installed. Hopefully it works out good, we'll see. Uh, but that's the plan. Step off. And then, yeah, back here. I got two tires. They're locked in, don't worry. And then, uh, these tires are solid. As you can see, these are the new ones. And on the other side, I have two new ones. I have two tires left on the, uh, truck. 
these are the steers as you can see they look solid so does the other side the only two tires that are unchanged or quite a bit older are these two I'm almost thinking about replacing them too but there's really not a need because I mean this is your your thread wear and as you can see there's a lot of tire left my only issue is I have new tires right here and old tires here but then again they're separate axles I don't think it makes a huge difference but we'll see uh, yeah today I should stop by the metalworks guy to make me a bracket for the mini split and uh, air conditioner on top hopefully it works out I know a lot of people are having doubts about it will it work will the vibrations kill it just stay tuned for the video when I start doing it and then you can learn on my mistakes a lot of people have done that on RVs and stuff but a lot of them on the RVs are not sitting on the catwalk vibrating so I'm hoping the vibration won't kill it uh, if it does I'm gonna say screw it scrap that mini split buy a new exterior unit and then build a bracket up top because I'm trying to avoid drilling into the frame I think the back of this is aluminum so I think it would be strong enough but then again that outside unit is really really heavy it's like 60 70 pounds but I think you know it would be much safer and better off in on the truck and getting vibrations absorbed by the bags rather than on the catwalk but we'll see I mean it, it, you know if it's rugged enough to last me like you know two years I'd, I'd be happy and then after that you know I don't know what's gonna happen I might say after that if it lasts me two years I might just buy an APU who knows if this works good I might keep that and then just change it up you know why why fix it if it's not broken right and then as far as the interior unit uh, it's gonna be going right here I'm gonna make a bracket from two by fours and carpet it right around this and then into that I'm gonna drill a piece of plywood that's gonna serve as a mounting point for my uh, interior mini split and then as far as the drain hose I'm gonna try drain it down and then maybe take a line like a really small line somewhere here and drain it down into the floor but yeah I mean I think the truck is really coming along together pretty nicely I think this week I might actually bring panels and install those so it looks nice but as you can see the whole dash is really coming together all right y'all hopefully uh hopefully I can be heard don't matter hopefully you hear the engine all right let's uh get ready get going Up. I've been to this ship where they were going to before, so uh, kind of where it's at. Picking up 10,000 pounds.
don't know if y'all can see that, but the, the wheels on that car, man, <laughs> I still hear it. That was hilarious. I'll see if I can zoom in on the video so you can get a picture of the car. That was crazy. Alright y'all, so this is what we're getting audio from earlier. Uh, hopefully the audio was good, hopefully you guys liked the video. I just backed to the dock, they're already loading me, so it should be loaded quick. I'm gonna get going, thank you guys for watching, catch y'all on the next one.